What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you clicked into this video, then you already know that I'm going to be doing a haul for you guys today. I just recently came back from Honolulu and I was there over the Black Friday weekend, so I did a bit of shopping and scored some pretty good deals, so I thought I would show you guys what I got. And I guess if you're interested, then just go ahead and keep watching. Okay, so I'm going to start out with what I got from Forever 21. And as you can see by the size of this bag, I got quite a few things, scored some pretty good deals. Um, and I was kind of surprised, honestly, because I feel like I find a lot of clothing usually at Forever 21. But I found some cute things, so let me show you what I got. I'm going to start with accessories. So first little thing I got is this little like makeup pouch. And I felt like this is so cute. It's like metallic pebbled leather, and it's a really good size, like handbag size. But the reason I got this is because I feel like it will be like the perfect little addition to my carry-on bag. Um, I'm going to be doing a whole separate video on what I put in like my carry-on bag when I'm going on a long flight, so be on the lookout for this video. But I felt like this would go perfectly in my carry-on because my carry-on is like a um, gold metallic backpack and then this is silver with the gold zip, so I don't know, I just thought it was cute. And inside here, we have the rest of the accessories that I got. Um, I picked up a couple of headbands. Oh my god, I have like no room in front of me. Okay. I picked up a couple of headbands because I love these for like dirty hair days or just any days really. But they're just like thick, stretchy headbands. This one is like metallic, has like metallic gold specks in it. I don't know if you can kind of see the shimmer in it, but they're just like little, you know, turban style headbands. Cute. Love these. So I got that one, and I got this one, which is like a pretty dark floral print. And just, I don't know, just thought it was cute. So that is that one. And then I got this little silky scarf thing, just like a bandana type scarf. It's not huge. But I like the pattern on this, and to be honest with you, I got this to put on handbags, really. I don't think that I'll really wear it as a scarf. I don't know. I might do, but I thought this would be really cute tied on to a couple of handbags that I had, so that's why I got that one. And the last thing I got accessory-wise are these glasses. Now, I'm obsessed with these. My husband hates them and thinks I look super creepy wearing them, <laughs> but I love them. I think they're so cute. Um... I posted a picture on Instagram wearing them, so I don't know. Let me guys know. Let me know what you guys think of these. I've been seeing them a lot on Instagram, like a lot of bloggers wearing these. So I thought these were so cute. I don't know. What do you guys reckon? Cute or not? Anyway, they, they're only seven bucks, so I was like, I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna pick them up. Let's see. Okay, clothing wise, from Forever Twenty One, I got a few dresses, like little summer dresses. So. We are going into summer here in New Zealand, so I thought it was the perfect time to pick up a couple of, like, just cute little summer dresses that I could wear. Um, and these were all so inexpensive that I figured even if I only wear each one of them one time, it would be worth the purchase. Because none of them were over, like, $12, I don't think. So, quite the bargain. So, the first one is this, like, white little skater style dress and it's like got a lace pattern to it um thought this was super cute and just I could picture how I was going to style it so I'll probably like throw on my denim jacket with this with maybe my like tan colored fedora and some cool little sandals but just thought that was really cute there's always barbecues and things happening in summer like things to go to so why not have a couple of dresses right and the next one I got, which is my favorite one, I love this. This is giving me like major like Tula Rosa vibes. I don't know if you guys have heard of that brand. You can find it on Revolve, but it's quite pricey, but they make really cute stuff. And this was just giving me all kinds of feels. It's just this navy blue little skater sail dress again, and it has this little star print on it. But the sleeves are like a bell sleeve. So cute. And the back is probably one of the cutest parts. It like ties up in the back. There's three little ties. So this, I can already tell, I will wear this a bunch. I think this is super cute. I can picture it with like 
white superstars and just like denim jacket or dress it up a little bit maybe wear some like lace up heels if you want to wear it like out but I really really love this and again it was only like $11 so super cheap super cute next one I got is this which I really love I'm obsessed with this color I don't know if you guys uh, can tell but I love green so I'm obsessed with this color and this is just like a little shift dress but and it's like stretchy material but it's like a swing style shift and it has the mock neck and it's long sleeve so I will wear this from now all the way through fall probably um, summertime here is very unpredictable what the weather is gonna be like so you never really know um, but again like I can picture throwing on either my denim jacket or leather jacket with this and styling it both casual and dressed up so just thought this was kind of like a good basic piece to have and the last dress I got and the last thing I got from Forever 21 is this little like t-shirt dress and it's patterned which I don't normally wear like super bold patterns like this but I was drawn to it for some reason and it was five dollars so I was like even if it just sits in my closet and I look at it because the pattern makes me happy I never actually wear it um I don't know it was five bucks so I just I don't know, I, I liked it, and we'll see how I end up wearing this. You guys, make sure you're following me on Instagram if you want to see, like, how I style all of this stuff. I've been posting a lot more, like, outfits on Instagram, so I'm trying to come up with ways where I can, like, film outfit videos and stuff, but I film everything myself, and I don't really have anyone helping me, so it's a little bit difficult to film, like, lookbooks by yourself, but we're working on that, but... In the meantime, if you want to see how I'm styling these pieces, um, just follow me on Instagram. I'll put my handle up here so you can go and check it out if you're interested. Okay, next I'm going to move on to a couple of things that I picked up from Planet Blue. Now, if you are from California, then you know Planet Blue. Um, this is like, ugh, used to be one of my favorite stores to shop at when I lived in LA, and I love it so much. I'm always on the website, but... I really haven't bought anything from them since I've lived in New Zealand because the shipping is quite expensive and typically you can find a lot of the things that they have on other websites who will ship internationally for free as long as you spend over like a hundred bucks or whatever. But I was in Honolulu and they have a store there so of course I popped in and I picked up a couple things that I'm like loving. They were having a really really good Black Friday sale so I picked up two pairs of shorts from them. Um, in the summertime, I, I like live in shorts. Um, I know I just showed you a whole bunch of dresses, but that's not very typical of my style. I don't, I'm not a big dress person. I, I love shorts and I will be wearing shorts like every single day in summer. So first pair I picked up is from One Teaspoon and they're these black corduroy, what are these called? Juliettes. So you can see that they're a lot longer in the back than they are in the front. And then the butt has... See how it has like a little star on the butt, which I was like, oh my god, is that going to be cute? I don't know. But I tried them on and I freaking love them. They're high-waisted. They have the button fly, which is super cute. And they just fit really well. I got them on a size 27, which is my normal size. And these were on sale for like $50. I don't think I saved them. Let me save it. Mm, no, I didn't save the tag, but they were like 50 bucks, so you can't really go wrong, right? So I got those and cannot wait to start wearing them. And then the other pair I got are these light wash denim ones from the brand Mother. Now, I love Mother. I have a pair of skinny jeans from them that I literally wear like four or five times a week. Like They're my favorite jeans ever. So I wanted to get some shorts, and I love this light wash denim um, for summer. Again, it has the button fly. I'm like really into that right now. And they are high-waisted. I've worn these already, so sorry if they look a little worn. But they're so cute, and I love the pocket. I love the pocket placement of Mother. I feel like it's really flattering on the behind. Um, these are quite short, so if you're not super into short shorts, then these won't be for you. But I love them. I love how they fit, and I really like the denim. They're distressed all over, so the pockets have distressing, like, obviously just distressed throughout, and that means that they're just going to get better with time. 
So again, if you want to see me styling these things, just go ahead and give me a follow on Instagram and you can see all of my OOTDs. Um, next, we'll go to Urban Outfitters. I could have bought so much stuff from Urban Outfitters, but I had to like keep it together and like control the spending. So I only got a couple of things because I figured I could carry on purchasing a lot of the things that I liked over time. Didn't need to just blow out my credit card right then and there. So the first thing I picked up is this t-shirt. This is from Suburban Riot and it just says kale on it. It's super soft, super snuggly, and I just like it. I've actually had this on my Revolve wish list for a long time. And so when I saw it at Urban, I just decided to pick it up. I just really like it, super casual. I live in t-shirts and jeans, so this will definitely get a lot of wear. And I don't know, maybe it will inspire me to eat more kale, who knows. Um, okay, next thing I got from Urban is this little hair tie. And I love this because of the little metallic, like, half clip on it so it's just a rubber band like a normal rubber band and then it has this little front piece on it which is so cute it's giving me a lot of like the way vibes you know the Jen Atkins hair care line the way obviously you guys probably know about that but she did um, a line of accessories as well in a collaboration with the jewelry designer I forget exactly who it was I'll try to link it down below if you want to check it out but this was just reminding me of that collection that they did and I just thought it was super cute um, just a cute way to dress up a basic ponytail, really. So I picked that up, and it was 12 bucks. And the last thing I picked up from them is this bar of soap. Super exciting. But this is the Dr. Bronner's um, Pure Castile Soap, but in bar form. So they make this in a liquid, and it's really good for cleaning makeup brushes. So I decided I would pick up the bar and see if it kind of works the same as, like, like a beauty blender solid cleaning type deal. Um, I just thought it might be a little easier to just like dampen this a little bit and swirl my brushes on it to clean them. And I don't know. I'm going to give that a try and I'll let you know, keep you posted on how I like this for cleaning makeup brushes. You can use this for all sorts of stuff. It's super multi-purpose. You can use it like in the shower to like as a body wash if you want. But for me, I'm going to use this to hopefully clean my makeup brushes. Just quickly before we move on to Sephora. I also bought this from Starbucks. How cute, right? It's a tumbler, but it's one that keeps um, drinks cold. You're not supposed to put hot drinks in here, but I, first of all, how cute is the color? So cute. Um, and in here right now, I have ice water with a whole bunch of lemon slices and frozen blueberries. And I just love it. I feel like it will make me drink more water throughout the day just because it's cute. Is that weird? And I like it because when you open it up, it's like got a really wide opening, obviously like a Starbucks cup. So you can put like slices of things in here really easily and like wash it out and I don't know. Just love this. And I'm hoping it helps me up my water intake. Okay, last but not least is Sephora. And I didn't freak out too much at Sephora, mostly because Felt like there wasn't a whole lot there that I couldn't now get in New Zealand. And the exchange rate right now is not awesome. So I didn't feel like I was like scoring like any major good deals. So I picked up a couple of things um, that I felt like I really couldn't get here. So the first and most favorite thing that I got is the Modern Renaissance palette. Now I know I'm like super late to the party on this palette and everyone already has it, but I didn't because you cannot go into a store and buy Anastasia Beverly Hills where I live. So I really like to see palettes like this before I purchase them. Um, so when I saw it, I was like, oh my god, literally this is like my soul in an eyeshadow palette. It is so beautiful. I can't wait to start using it, but it's just like so pretty. I'm like, I don't want to, I'm scared to touch it. I don't know. It's just gorgeous. Um, but stay tuned for tutorials coming with this. I love the packaging. The outside is like pink velvet, so it's, I don't know, it's just super cute. Love this. Um, and next thing I got was this little mini, which I, I love mini everything, like, and that's one of the best parts about Spore, right, when you're, like, checking out and they just catch you with all the little minis of everything. So I got a mini ambient lighting powder <laughs> from Hourglass. How cute is that? It's like reflecting my ring light, you can't see, but it's super small. It's like the size of an eyeshadow. 
Um, but it has in here the diffused light ambient lighting powder and I got this because I actually want to try putting this under my eye. This isn't a great highlighter for me, like a highlight highlight, um, but I thought it could be really pretty to set my under eyes with. So I'm going to try that and again I'll keep you guys posted. I haven't done it yet because I wanted to show you guys all the stuff before I started using it. So again that is in diffused light. And the next thing I got is a roller ball. So this perfume, Black Orchid from Tom Ford, is my absolute favorite perfume of all time. It's like my signature scent. It's just, I don't know, if you have not smelled this, I don't have a way to describe it to you except it's just amazing. It's not too sweet. It's kind of like it's just very, it's kind of dark, but it's very, it's very sexy. It has a little bit of a floral note, but it's quite like a dark scent. I don't know how to describe it any better than that. Um, but if you have not smelled this and you feel like you need to smell it, I highly recommend it. It's amazing. But I wanted to keep this in my bag, so that's why I got the um, roller ball. Let's just put some on right now. Thank you so much. Oh, love. It smells so good. Um, eight balls. And then the last thing I got was this eye cream from Murad. And I got this because I had earned like a certain amount of Sephora points or whatever. And this was like my free gift. It's just a, just a sample size, but I love trying anything skincare, so I wanted to try this. Ooh. So it's it's a treatment actually. So you get little under eye pads, right? You, you guys have probably seen these. You just put them on under your eyes. They're like little patches. And then this is the treatment. So, um, not exactly sure how you're supposed to use this yet. So, okay, it says apply five pumps under each eye area in a generous layer and then apply the pad over the top and you leave it on for 10 to 15 minutes. And it's supposed to just like smooth and lift and firm that area under the eye. So I'm really excited to try this. And who knows, maybe we'll buy the full size. But that is everything I got in my Hawaii haul. So, um, like I said, if you guys want to see how I'm styling all this stuff that I got, follow me on Instagram. I will be posting as many outfits of the day, OOTDs, as I can. But other than that, you guys, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, Go ahead and click the subscribe button so you don't miss my future videos. And other than that, I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys.